The thing that we didn't know until you got here is about your incredible preparation. And if you watch in practice, the attention to detail on the route running, the communication with the teammates, even the core work you're doing while the first team defense is on, you are, you are nonstop. 10 years ago, you didn't know to do that coming out of Clemson. Nobody 21 years old knows to do that. How did you learn to be that kind of pro, like what we used to see out of Eddie George years ago? I appreciate it. Obviously, the young me didn't know any of uh, any of those tactics. Uh, I felt like my skill could, you know, keep me in this thing long as I long as I wanted to play. Obviously, you know, skill takes you so far. But I would say I picked that up from guys around me like J.J. Watt and Andre Johnson, being in Houston and seeing the way they practice and seeing things they did when nobody was watching. Uh, to me, I knew I. I wanted to be where those guys, those guys were one day, and I felt like that was the standard. JJ used to do uh, cardio during practice, or he would he would run sprints during practice uh, while the first team uh, offense was out there. And it's just something that I picked up, and uh, I would say just watching the greats around me uh, and, and never feeling like I know it all or I'm. I'm where I want to be. Uh, year 11, and I'm still doing those same things that I did a couple years ago. Titans in the king cap. Henry, hand spears, pitches Levis, looking deep for Hopkins. The living legend is there. Touchdown, <laughs> Titans! How proud does it make you that the young guys are now following you around doing a lot of the same things at practice? Uh, it, it makes me feel good because I learned there from someone who is going to be a future Hall of Famer. Uh, and, and hopefully, you know, that's something that they feel like will help their game. Uh, and, and, you know, sometimes it's not something where it just overnight is going to take effect, but over over time, it's something that, you know, you pick up that mentality and you want to do something when you feel like nobody else is. What makes DeAndre Hopkins' game as a wide receiver unique? I'll say my knowledge of, of football, my knowledge of defenses, uh, being able to get open, not necessarily being a 4-3, 4-4 guy, uh, but just my knowledge of, of defenses and uh, I'll say being able to, to catch contested balls. Uh, I feel like that's something that separates me, uh, just my focus and when the ball's in the air, that's a 50-50 ball, I feel like it's mine. Throws deep downfield, there's Hopkins all alone. 20, 15, 10, 5, end zone. Ladies and gentlemen, give him 61 yards! Touchdown, Titans! It feels like in, in watching you on and off the field, you like the puzzle of the details of the game. Is that one of the parts of football that you really enjoy the most? Oh, uh, it is. Uh, I think, uh, <laughs> Part of that is probably due to playing quarterback when I was young and still kind of having that mentality like, all right, you know, I feel like I'm a quarterback in my position. Uh, and just, you know, trying to see everything. I grew up playing quarterback. Uh, I grew up in a football family where my grandfather was Hall of Fame, South Carolina, my uncle's Hall of Fame in South Carolina. Uh, I've been introduced to football at a young age and, and knowing not just my position, but what everybody else's position is as well and how it affects me. Weren't you supposed to be a defensive back originally when you went to Clemson? I was. I was recruited very highly out of high school as a, as a safety defensive back. Got the state record in South Carolina. Um, just about every college recruited me as a defensive back, not a receiver. Uh, but I wanted to go somewhere where, you know, I had the opportunity to play both. And Clemson at the time didn't have the great, greatest receivers and they gave me that, that opportunity. So five Pro Bowls. Um, three times all pro statistics that are already Hall of Fame worthy potentially. Thank you. Year 11, what's left for you to do in football? What are your goals? You know, obviously a Super Bowl is everybody reasoning or playing the game, but you know, my goal is to, to pass down what I can to other players, the knowledge, uh, you know, certain skill sets that I have, um, you know, try to sharpen someone else. And for me it's, you know, giving back what I've gained and, and trying to help someone else get to uh, that goal of winning the championship or, or just being the best version of themselves on the football field and off the field.